Well, this is the right kidney of the patient with obstructive uropathy. As uh, you see, this is the parent time. This is the parent cortex, sorry. These tiny cystic areas are the middle and these are the dilated calyces. This is the dilated proximal ureter which should not exceed 7 mm is seen dilated up to approximately 23 mm. So the kidney is not large, shows normal parenchyma molecular density with uh, dilated proximal ureter. Now let's try to trace this uh, ureter if we can. Here we are. <coughs> Same view. Now I am in the mid abdomen where you can see the dilation of the ureter. It uh, should communicate with the renal pelvic region. Here you can see. This is the kidney, the pelvis of the kidney. And uh, here you see the proximal ureter, the mid ureter. Down here, close to this is the urinary bladder, and at the region of the urinary bladder, we see uh, approximately my area 16.5 millimeter calculus with posterior shadowing. This is the shadow. ureter where it enters into the urinary bladder. Now this is the distal ureter and these, these are the calculines uh, and bring the, this is a more clear view, this is the calculus, this is the shadow, this is the urinary bladder, this is the ureter. The length of the ureter is dilated. 